We currently find ourselves on the verge of one of the greatest economic and technological transformations in human history. The events that unfold in the next 10 years will dictate the fate of our species. Let's talk about it. The 2020s are going to be a flashpoint of activity that's going to see the intersecting of three major factors of society. Those being rapid technological development, ecological disaster, and economic disparity. All of these things approach critical mass in the 2020s. Get ready. Workforce automation will lead to massive job loss, which is going to restructure the workforce and the economy as a whole. Presidential candidates like Andrew Yang are rising in popularity at a rapid rate. This is due to people's perception that they are not reaping the spoils of automation, and thus they are demanding a universal basic income to make ends meet. This UBI would be a no strings attached tech dividend paid out to every adult monthly to assist them with the rising cost of living and stagnant wages and unemployment. This widening wealth gap between the technocratic elite and the masses is going to spawn more radical populist movements and this is going to force the introduction of universal basic income. Even intellectuals like Jordan Peterson, who is a notable critic of socialist economic policies like universal basic income, acknowledges that if something is not done about the widening wealth gap, society will certainly destabilize, which will lead to upheaval and a collapse of the system as we know it. He states that it's in the best interest of the elite to redistribute just enough wealth to prevent the masses from revolting. This is perhaps why the idea of UBI is being promoted by many in the billionaire class because they can see the writing on the wall. They know that in the next 25 years, 47% of the jobs are going to be automated away. Even if some of these jobs are replaced by new jobs that don't exist yet, much of the occupations that currently generate wealth are going to be automated. So without UBI, you're gonna have a situation in which there's a lot of cheap mass-produced goods and a lot of dispossessed people with no money to buy them. The next transformation of the 2020s is the cashless society. The end of cash is coming. The move towards online purchasing and the use of digital and cryptocurrencies is going to reduce the physical cash supply to negligible amounts. If pseudo cryptocurrencies like Facebook Libra take root, these may totally transform the world of global commerce. The robotics revolution is no longer science fiction. The hardware and the software is maturing and the manufacturing base to build these machines exists. Numerous anthropomorphic robots have entered the industrial and commercial space. For instance, the spot robot from the company Boston Dynamics is now available for purchase. This is the result of two decades of research by the company. It's hard to believe that that big dog video is 10 years old. The SoftBank company who's acquired Boston Dynamics intends on making this technology public. This robot has already been conscripted by police departments, and this is only the start. But these bipedal and quadrupedal robots are not the only types that are going to become more common. Self-balancing wheeled platforms, unmanned aerial vehicles, neuroprosthetics, and exoskeletons will all have their golden age in the 2020s. The ability to interpret immense volumes of data has been a limiting factor for harnessing the true power of hardware like the Spot Mini Robot. Powerful computers using machine learning algorithms are resolving these issues, as such rapid advancements will be made in the area of artificial intelligence. Ray Kurzweil, one of the most respected and accurate futurists, predicts that machines will reach human level intelligence by the year 2029, and it's going to quickly surpass that immediately thereafter. It should be noted that he boasts an 80% success rate for his futuristic predictions. And this perhaps is a conservative estimate. Consider that it was predicted that a computer would never be able to beat the world champion at the Chinese game of Go for at least 10 years. While in the span of a year, Google's DeepMind AlphaGo system destroyed the world's best player. And shortly thereafter, it beat many players simultaneously. And the amazing thing about all of it is that it was entirely self-taught. It's important from here on in that we remain vigilant about artificial intelligence because we're constantly on the verge of major breakthroughs within this field. The shift towards electric vehicles is now inevitable. These will rapidly begin replacing combustion engine vehicles in the early 2020s, and most major car manufacturers predict fully autonomous self-driving capability within the next five years. Some companies like Tesla claim they're going to be there by early 2020. 
Undoubtedly, the threat of global conflict will escalate as trade wars ramp up and the world further segregates into two trading blocs, the United States and China. Proxy conflicts will remain abound as both of these countries reignite military spending and prepare for what may well be the clash of superpowers in the 21st century, quite possibly escalating into the final conflict that mankind ever wages. Cyber warfare will pose an existential threat to civilization as more of our infrastructure becomes hardwired into IT networks. The surveillance apparatus of society will reach a dystopian tipping point as the trillions of sensors in smartphones, CCTV cameras and self-driving cars are aggregated and interpreted through learning algorithms. Correspondingly, individual rights, freedoms and privacy will reach all-time lows in the developed world. Aspects of China's notorious social credit system will be integrated into the surveillance network of Western nations. Population will continue to skyrocket in developing countries, while infertility continues to climb in developed countries. The most up-to-date research shows that sperm counts among men in the West have more than halved in the past 40 years, and are currently falling at an average of 1.5% a year. This corresponds to a very low birth rate, and a culture which is preoccupied with anything but having children. Antibiotic resistance will continue to breed superbugs which will pave the way for a pandemic of historical proportions. The Global Preparedness Monitoring Board indicates that the threat of pandemic spreading around the globe is a real one. A quick-moving pathogen has the potential to kill tens of millions of people, disrupt economies and destabilize national security. In addition to tragic levels of mortality, such a pandemic could cause panic, destabilize national security, and seriously impact global economy and trade. They claim that a pandemic of these proportions could spread globally in the mere span of 36 hours. The global debt has hit a record $247 trillion in 2018. This has many people hedging their bets and investing in things like gold and real estate to prepare for the coming economic collapse. Consumer debt load has risen back to pre-2008 levels, Corporate borrowing has continued to soar, governments continue to run annual deficits, and many prominent economic analysts expect that the bubble is going to burst as early as next year. The sixth mass extinction marked by the rapid decline in biodiversity on our planet due to the irresponsible managing of agriculture and mining practices is fully underway. The total mass of insect life is falling by a precipitous 2.5% a year, according to the best data available. Insects are essential for the proper functioning of all ecosystems, and if the insects go, the whole system collapses. These insect die-offs have been largely attributed to the overuse of pesticides in agriculture. So while we may be seeing bumper crops in certain areas of the globe, we need to understand that the cumulative result of this may be the collapse of ecosystems as a whole, and could ironically severely impact our ability to grow food and feed our growing population. As a result of these changes, the 2020s may see food shortages, a continuing rising consumer price index, wild climate swings will continue to contribute to worldwide crop failures, the results of monoculture, topsoil erosion, water shortages, depleting aquifers, overfishing, deforestation and more intense and long-lasting weather disasters will make the prospect of global food shortages a reality in the 2020s. However, we have been assured by scientists that all manner of frankenfood, including making insects a staple of the American diet, will offset these food shortages. The insects that are going extinct, that is. Social media addiction is going to reach a breaking point in the 2020s, as will the corresponding mental health issues. People will become toxically obsessed with the next generation augmented reality social media universe that's going to emerge in the 2020s. Video games are also going to become so immersive and realistic in the 2020s that regulators are going to have to give serious consideration whether or not they should limit the realism of games to combat rampant video game addiction and a new class of mental health issues that are going to emerge as a result of people not being able to distinguish between reality and the virtual world. Genetic engineering and gene editing life extension technology like the CRISPR system, which is a revolutionary gene editing tool, which essentially enables scientists to alter the DNA of any organism. This will become commonplace. Designer babies may become a thing in the 2020s. 
technology like Neuralink will be in its embryonic phase as it seeks to create a high-speed interface that connects our brains to the grid and our smart devices. Those who choose to opt out for ideological or religious purposes may ultimately find themselves at a severe intellectual and economic disadvantage. Lastly, and more importantly, the environment, or more specifically human habitat, will be compromised beyond repair. Deforestation, toxic waterways, and changing global climate patterns may seal our fate as a type zero civilization, unless a major technological shift occurs. But many distinguished scientists and climatologists believe that we've passed the Rubicon of environmental collapse, and that no matter what we do, it's coming and we have to deal with it. What I want to know from you is what are your predictions for the 2020s? How are you preparing for this brave new world? And what is your plan of action if it all goes to hell? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Canadian Prepper out.